Get lost. Stop stealing money from people. Get out of here. People have been waiting at the police department for an hour for service from a police officer. They can't serve the community. You're out here stealing money. It says police department, you're pocket enforcement, you're a road pirate. Stop stealing money from people, get out of here. Stop stealing money. Go, shoo. 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 Don't touch the vehicle, you don't have a warrant. Don't even lean against it. Bye. Go ahead, scram. Does that make you feel good? Can I ask you a question on camera? I'm I was just asking if the police officers here in Albany are, are they brave officers? Yes. They are? Yes. How often do you see them? <laughs> Not often, right? They're pretty brave, but they're never around. Ma'am, do you think the police officers are brave here in Albany? Because no yeah, you never see them, right? <laughs> I, got a quick I got a quick question for you. I'm just wondering if being in Albany, if the Albany police officers here are brave. I'm not an Albany police officer, so I... Well, as a citizen, do you see them a lot? You know, I work right over there. I, I see them every now and again, but... And how close would you, I don't want to know, say, show where you work. I'm going to turn my camera away so they can't see the logos you have. Um, how far away would you say you work from the PD? Like right across the street. Right across the street, and you see them here and there? Yeah. Okay, what do you, let me ask you a question. What do you think about City Hall being open, fire department being open, but the police department being closed five days a week because of the restrictions and mandates that were lifted 15 months ago? Uh, that's questionable. That's questionable, right? Yeah. And I asked the city. Yo! Yo! Hey, yo! Cop! PD! Hey, Def! No, you're not here for us? Here he is! Here's the brave officer! Are you here for us? Of course you're not! We've only been waiting 40 minutes! Look at that! Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Tours, can you answer me this one? Uh, if you say that you're understaffed, <laughs> why is it that your staff can peek out the window and take pictures of me and him, and they have time to do that? And they have time to take these dumb calls on here that could take up to five minutes, but they can't have a cordial conversation with us for two minutes out of their day. And tell me how they're understaffed then. All uh, right, you know, in regard. What's going on, guys? This one takes place in Albany, California. Now it's crazy. These brave, brave hero cops are hiding from every single citizen. Fire department, open. Town hall, open. Brave, brave Albany police officers, closed. That's right, seven days a week. They're serving you from the comfy, cozy office that keeps them safe. You know who is hard at work, though? The road pirate meter maids. That's right, on film. We literally have a woman that goes into a store, sets a stopwatch. She's in the store for 62 minutes. There's a 90 minute parking meter. While she's gone, this dirty, nasty road pirate gives her a ticket. Little old lady. Do you agree with Albany, California? I don't. Redress your grievances. Catch you in the next one. And that's the reason I stopped you today. Banana Ann is a boss. What's going on guys? We're at the Albany City Hall in Albany, California doing a first amendment audit. Look at that sign, Albany stands against hate. Hopefully they stand against hate for a camera. Hey, no, I'm all set, thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Who's that? Oh. 
no, no signs. This is public, I guess. Look at that guy. Oops. The sign on the door said Albany stands against hate, so they must mean the cameras. They stand against hate for the cameras. Hello. Sorry. No, you're okay. <laughs> you're okay. Oh, that's locked. This is employees only. We can't go inside here. What you working on? Anything good? Look at all the bikes. What you doing? <laughs> Howdy. You working on anything good in there, man? <laughs> Hello? Hey, I was just wondering what you're working on. Well, if you'd like to chat with me, you just come into my office. It's not the way to do that. Well, I didn't come in. I'm standing right outside. The office says employees only. I wouldn't come inside. Well, I was just wondering what you're doing. What's your name? I'm very secretive. Albany stands against hate. He does not like to talk at all. <laughs> I like that sweater. You should go to that first door on the right there and just knock and say, hey, what are you doing? Because I just tell you, like, if you'd like to talk to me, come into the office space. It's not the way to do it. <clears throat> can't go in. Just give a little knock. Hi, how's it going? What you guys up to this morning? We're about to have some meetings. Come oh, close the door. meetings on what? <laughs> <laughs> I told you! Albany stands, against, Albany stands against hate. Did you hear them walking? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was funny. Yeah. What you doing? I don't know. John Ehrlich. Hi, John. Yeah, no, that's okay. We're good. We're just looking around. Are you doing a peekaboo? And you're just trying to tell us that we have to go to the front because it's public. Okay. Hi! I just like to say hi to people. That hat, yeah. <laughs> it definitely stands out on that wall. It's got the cool hat. Okay. <clears throat> That's the uh, 
handicap access. We can go next door and go to the policy department. <laughs> right on to the policy department. Lobby is closed. Is that an old sign? It's locked. <laughs> All right, so we'll go take a peek at their cars then, if they want to be. I bet you the fire department's not closed. The fire departments are the real heroes. Police would like you, you to think that they're the heroes. <clears throat> Let's see what we got going on here. They got their thin blue gloves. You got a dent in your car. I don't know what car. Is he driving like an ace hole? Probably. Oh, that's a nice sweater. What's it say? It says, uh, pump your feelings. Oh, your sweater, I was gonna say, yeah. Say, oh, feelings. Jesus. <laughs> what a recovery. Did you see that? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's the opener. <laughs> AFA almost took a digger. This policy car is not in service. Oh, they're going to be selling this one pretty soon. We got our shotgun and our AR-15 today, well, because we live in Albany, <laughs> Albany, California. It's really dangerous out in these streets, <laughs> these mean streets of Albany. <laughs> I don't go around back and look in their back a lot. Oh, we can go through the town hall and get there, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. I want to make sure I'm safe in the dangerous town of Albany. <laughs> loses oh, we can see what you did there can only get their dirt bikes too often criminals escape in the, in the ruinous mountains of Albany California <laughs> oh my god He's got his AR-15 and his shotgun. Just in case shit pops off. Exempt from the laws, exempt from the Constitution. But the one thing they're not exempt from is being a total douche. Oh, I think this guy is compensating for something. Oh, he's a warrior. <laughs> I just feel like being an asshole today. 
Emergency Operations Center. <laughs> Wonder if that's closed too. They love closing shit. Probably. Oh no, this this might be the fire department. They usually don't close. Because the fire department isn't afraid of people. Oh, I take it back. Fire department's closed too. This town is afraid of people. Here's the Road Pirates dinghy. Oh, it says motorcycle only. Oh, no, it has three wheels. I think this could technically be considered a motorcycle. I think it technically is considered a motorcycle. I wanna look this up. Is a three-wheel parking enforcement vehicle a motorcycle? Ooh, okay. Three-wheel motorcycles or motorcycles with an attached sidecar. No. 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 <laughs> I've got everything that California Consider a motorcycle. A motorcycle is a motor vehicle that has a seat or saddle for use for the rider, rider and is designated to travel on, on not more than three wheels. Hmm. It's got one seat. This might just be considered a motorcycle. I was looking up the specs on what a motorcycle is to see if this is considered a motorcycle. No. It is, yeah, it's got three wheels. As long as the, I think it's, I think it's considered a motorcycle. No. I think so. Make sure we get all the license plates. Every single license plate. Here's your center of government. It's closed. <laughs> Albany equals brave. Join the Albany Policy Department today. I love how they use static pictures and not, not from Albany. It just says police, California, and they superimpose their own car in it. I could Photoshop better than that. These are your policy officers working hard, and that's the reason I stopped you today.
Hi, how come the lobby's closed? How come the lobby's closed? Yeah. We have some COVID protocols in place in um in order. I mean, well, do city. You, do you need to speak to someone? Well, I'm just confused. City hall's open, and all the all the the mandates were lifted over a year and a half ago. So there is no mandates keeping any public lobbies closed. So I just wonder why the brave officers at the policy department are not open, but City Hall is. Why is City Hall open? You want to know why the police department's lobbies are closed and not the City Hall? Yeah, I mean, wouldn't there be protocols in place for that too, even though the protocols were lifted over 15 months ago? You know, I'm not sure of that answer. Let me get it for you. One moment. Oh, thanks. Guy's peeking over there. I'm gonna have to go take a look at the peekster. We'll go see him in a second. These guys are pretty brave. That's probably why they're closed, so they can stay brave as much as possible without interruption. No, it's interesting. She works here, and she doesn't know why the lobby is closed. Very interesting, don't you think? <laughs> this lady's on two laps already. <laughs> Super low key. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna see you in my window. Let me get that answer for you. Shouldn't you have the answer? That's it. Albany Police Department. It's the police department. I'm so brave. Are here to are here for the community, and they inclusively provide service. Wow, what a bunch of core values! This is crazy. They don't know why. I feel protected and served. <coughs> Why are they treading on me? Stop treading on me. Damn, where'd she have to walk to? San Francisco to get the answer to this question? Because of the Kung Flu, they're closed because of protocols. The protocols are lifted 15 months ago, and the building that's immediately attached, which is City Hall, is open for business. I would like to know why. Are the City Hall's workers' lives less important than their own? I don't understand. Maybe they can answer this question for me. Is it the bravery to, to maintain their, their significant level of brave? Do they have to stay behind closed doors? I mean, what is it? Hi, thanks for holding. Sure. Hi, okay. So we have the doors locked because we're still doing our protocols. Okay. So are the city halls workers, are their lives less important than the police officers or to stay as brave as possible to the police officers have to stay behind closed doors? 
you cut through your background noise. What did you say? I'm sorry. Thank you for asking again. I was just wondering, are the city halls workers, are their lives less important since they're open? Or do the police officers, to stay as brave as possible, need to keep the doors locked? Are they are they brave enough to come out and talk to me? <laughs> no answer for that one. No, that's okay. Um, I was just wondering, is there a, a brave officer that can actually come out and speak to me since we're having some trouble communicating on here because of the noise and stuff? I'm going to speak to an officer regarding, what is it, just the lobby doors? Uh, no, I, I have a couple questions. I just didn't know if one of the brave officers were available. Uh, let me see who I have available. Well, okay. th there's definitely one gentleman that's peeking out the window as we speak. It seems like he has some spare time. For you, okay, okay, thank you. I'm gonna disconnect now and I'll send someone out as soon as they're available. Uh, yeah, just do you know how long it might be? I don't. Because there's someone like two steps away from me at the window. Once again, sir, as soon as the patrol officer is available, I'll have them come out and meet you. Meet with you, okay? Alright, I hope they I hope it's okay and I'd like to thank them for being brave enough to walk outside the building. Just tell them I said that, okay? Alright, I'll be I will I'm gonna disconnect and I'll send someone as soon as they're available. Okay, All thanks right. so much. Guy seems available right here. Super brave, super available. Why oh, you see his outline moving around in there? He's in there. They want to send someone as soon as they're available. There's literally someone right in there. <laughs> That's funny. I don't understand why they need to send someone. There's someone right in that window. I just think it's crazy, like, the fire department's open, city hall's open, but the police are closed. Seems, seems so strange. But they're closed because of mandates that were lifted almost two years ago. I just don't understand. I mean, it must not be because of the mandate. That wouldn't make sense. It must be because to be brave, they need to stay hidden. Because how could they be brave if they're actually interacting with people that are unarmed and have cameras? So I got my phone on, guys. Uh, Nana's gonna call me if the PD shows up there. I just want to ask the folks at Town Hall if their lives are less important than the police. Let's ask them. I didn't get to ask them before. I'll we'll ask them now. Hey, I just had a quick question. I think you guys are very brave for being open for business. I noticed that the police officers next door are closed, and I asked them why, and they said because of the restrictions and the protocols, and I let them know that those restrictions are moved in California over 15 months ago. So I was just asking them if the reason that they're not open to the public is because you know their lives are more important than the people at the town hall, since you guys are open for business to serve your community, or are they just to maintain their level of bravery do they need to hide from the public? So I was just wondering if you guys think that the police, if they're more important than you guys? I don't feel comfortable making a comment about a different department within the city. Well, you guys are open for business. You deal with the public every day, right? Except Saturdays and Sundays. Yes. 
Right, okay. And the the police are closed every day, including Saturdays and Sundays. So, I mean, I was just... And it's because of the protocol. So I was just wondering if, like, it's because maybe they, they, their lives are more valuable than yours. I just don't understand why that would be the case. I mean, you're welcome to make your own conclusion. I'm not going to comment on that. And what other conclusion could there be? Just ask the other department. Sir, quick question. I noticed that the um, the police department's closed, and I pressed the call button, and they said they're closed because of the restrictions and protocols. But I noticed that those restrictions were lifted federally and in California over 15 months ago. And certainly, you guys are open for business every day to to assist the community. So I was wondering why that is. Is it to to be as brave as possible? The police need to seclude themselves from the citizens, or you know. Are you guys less valuable than they are in their eyes? Yeah, I'm not sure that I could really answer that question. Because I would think that if it's a protocol thing, City Hall should be closed as well, but you're here every day serving your community. I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you think that that's, does that like kind of bother you that you have to go to work like that and they can just not serve the public at all? Uh, frankly, I don't feel comfortable with the question. I don't really... Uh... Well, do you think it's a question that most people would ask if they go to the police department and they're closed for the same reason that you're open? I uh, yeah, couldn't really tell you. I think most people would ask that because the sign right there is the same sign they're using to say that they're closed. So I just, you guys are actually doing a diligence to the public. So I just, I, I asked them, I asked them if it was because their officers are so brave, they need to limit their contact with people that they serve or if it's because their lives are more important than, than the city hall. She put me on clothes, she, on hold, she had to check with the supervisor. She, she wasn't sure what the right answer was. Gotcha. So I didn't know if maybe you knew. Okay. I'm sorry, they'd be the best people to ask. Yeah, well, it's the best people to ask don't like talking to people, you know? Well, I appreciate it, thank you. Take care. Maybe over here they might know. That's community development, that's right office. Excuse me, Sabrina? I just had a quick question. I noticed that every day you guys are in here diligently serving the community, mm -hmm. you know, in here doing, doing the hard work, and I went to the police station and I noticed that they were closed. And there was a sign on the door that said, because of the protocols and the safety mandates and all that stuff, mm -hmm. that they were, they were closed. And I called them on the intercom as well and they said, because of the mandates. And I said, well, I'm just very confused because the mandates both federally and in California were lifted over 15 months ago. And City Hall next door is open, serving people every day. So, you know, what are the reasons that they're on the front lines? Is, are they less important? Are the officers so brave that they need to be kind of secluded a little bit? What is the answer? And she wasn't sure, so I didn't know if you guys knew why you were open and they were closed. I'm not sure. I mean, I know that there's someone there that will always man that area, but as far as why their lobby remains closed, you'd have to check with them. Yeah, well, they said it's because of the mandate that's no longer in effect. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's their department or something else, so you'd have to check with them. Because the same sign that's at your front door saying that you're open is the same sign at their front door saying that they're closed. And I just, you guys are in here actually serving people every day and doing hard work and interacting. And I just, I was concerned that they were, you know, they have tasers and bulletproof vests and guns and patrol vehicles and access to SWAT and even fire is open. And it just seems that they're the... The most well protected, but seem the most need to be concerned for officer safety. Do you think their safety is more paramount than, than yours here at the town hall? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that, but I'm not sure what their reason is for keeping their lobby closed, so you'd have to check with them. I yeah. can't answer that it's, question. It's normally officer safety. Now, they've had, they called someone to come help us out and answer some questions okay. 15 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. um, I hope the response time for other people is a little bit better than that. Um, you know, certainly if their response time was as quick as the help we receive at City Hall, I think the, the public would be protected and served much more efficiently. But 15 minutes going on, going on 20 for them to come. And you know what's interesting? There's a guy looking out the door at me from probably where about that city council sign is. I get him on camera and I said, well, maybe you could just have the person that has nothing better to do than stare out the window and take pictures of me. Maybe he can come out and talk to me. Nada. Can you imagine that? It doesn't seem like they're working very hard, does it? I'm not sure what they do, so. 
<laughs> a whole lot of nothing. That's their number one activity. All right. Well, I just, I just, you know, I, I wanted to get both sides because when the public sees this video on a massive channel like myself, they're gonna be like, well, why is why are these poor people stuck doing work every day for the citizens and they're letting people sit and wait? God forbid there's a, an emergency. Thank you so much for your help. You're very nice, Sabrina. All right, so we got someone standing at PD. Yeah, no, he sure is. Are they, are, are they done yet? Are they still busy? They want to get off their ass and do something. Yeah. Yeah. He's not going anywhere either. So if they want to come outside of their, their office and protect and serve me, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Sounds good. Will do. 10-4. Received. 10-8. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. So it seems like, yeah. Is that one of your brave police officers? How brave is he feeling today? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. Do that. Mm hmm. Is that one of the brave police officers? Oh, no, we're waiting. Yeah. Someone's been standing at the door the whole time I've been gone, so they haven't come out at all. No, because someone's still standing right there. It sounds good. Okay. You know? Wow, they lie like a rug, huh? <laughs> Man has been parked right in front of the building. No one's come out. How much you want to bet? Not a person. Did they come out? I didn't think so. Yeah, they, they told the, the they told the woman at the window that they came out to talk to us and no one was there. That's interesting, huh? Where's the brave police officer? He's right here, but Nana's parked. <laughs> Right there. No one came out. These guys lie like it's going out of style. I can't even believe it. Let me let me call Karen. Where's Karen at? How's she gonna answer? I gotta foil that phone call too. Hi, yes, um, I was just next door at the uh, at the town hall and my friend was standing out in front, was sitting out front of here at the police department and someone, one of the police officers told the woman at the town hall that they came out to speak to me but no one's here, which is strange because I got someone literally waiting right here for a police officer. So I don't know if the town hall lady misheard or someone was lying, but I'm still out here. I guess they said come right back and someone will be out to talk to me. Uh, yeah, my name's, uh, my, you got a pen? Yeah, first name is Good, last name is Citizen, C-I-T-I-Z-E-N. All right, Mr. Good Citizen, oh, an officer has been dispatched, and as soon as someone is available, they will meet you in front, okay? So don't go back and forth, can you just stay in front of well, the I got, I got, I got, as as I got someone right in front anyway, so no one came yet. I just didn't know who was lying, if it was the, <laughs> the policy officer or the Karen at the town hall. No happen but once again as soon as someone's available they will come meet you in front okay all right perfect if you want to make their lives easy as well you can just tell them to bring a records request for them because i want to do a records request on the phone call that just took place okay all right thank you you're welcome Bye -bye. so strange they they were just here they were here and there was no one here they they came outside they did not they did, they did banana the you know what the police don't lie you know what lies Cameras okay. well, and you. Anna doesn't lie either. She does. She lies and she splits. I'm just not sure what she does more often.
Hey, these guys lie like a rug. She, she wants to blame it on us going back and forth. I got someone sitting right here, windows down. Look at, look how far it is from the door to the car. I can get both in the same frame. Look at, that's how far it is. Banana's car to the door. You think they came out? No way. They're high. They're smoking that good stuff. They're smoking that good good. Twenty five minutes since we called a uh, policy officer. I've paused a couple times and got dragged out some weight. So we're at, we're at 25 minutes on a live count for a police officer that has already come, uh, but hasn't, but has already come. So I want to FOIA their uh, camera footage so we can see what time they came out here. And it'd be a waste of time because they never came out here. That's the point. I wish we had an See, the, the folks at the town hall didn't have an answer to that question. I wonder if... Maybe I should start asking some citizens here. I think I'll ask the next one that walks by if they think their, their policy officers are, are brave here in Albany. Not doing so hot, 29 minutes, 29 minutes to get a policy officer to respond. 29 minutes. Ma'am, do you think the police officers are brave here in Albany? Yeah, because you never see them, right? <laughs> You literally can't write that shit. Oh man. I said, that's crazy. I said to the woman, ma'am, random lady driving by, do you think the police officers are brave here in Albany? And she said, I have no idea. And I said, why? Because you never see them? She said, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's somebody else walking here. Let's, let's ask them for their opinion. We're just gonna conduct some interviews right in front of here. Hello, young lady, how are you? Do you have 10 seconds for me to ask you a question on camera? Um, I'm, I was just asking if the police officers here in Albany, are, are they brave officers? Yes. They are? Yes. How often do you see them? <laughs> Not often, right? <laughs> They're pretty brave, but they're never around. All right, <laughs> it's number two. And that's a sign of a true bootlicker. She, like as I said, how often do you see him around? And she's dying hysterically. She, she never does, but she's willing to say that they're very brave. This is a great idea. We'll hold some, every single person that walks by. I have a question about the brave officers here at the Albany PD. I keep getting these new projects, Banana. You know what I mean? Like it goes from one to the next one. Oh, we got somebody else coming. We got somebody else. All right. I'm gonna find out what he thinks. Sure, you got a quick I got a quick question for you. I'm just wondering if being in Albany, if the Albany police officers here are brave. I'm not an Albany police officer, so I... Well, as a citizen, do you see them a lot? You know, I work right over there. I, I see them every now and again, but... And when, how close would you... I don't want to know, say, show where you work. I'm going to turn my camera away so they can't see the logos you have. Um, how far away would you say you work from the PD? Like right across the street. Right across the street, and you see them here and there. Yeah. Okay, what do you, let me ask you a question. What do you think about City Hall being open, fire department being open, but the police department being closed five days a week because of the restrictions and mandates that were lifted 15 months ago? Uh, that's questionable. That's questionable, right? Yeah. And I asked the City Hall people, I just wanted to know, you know, I, you, you are giving a service to the community every day for the, you know, right. the things that people need. Are they closed because they're more brave and they need to be secluded or... 
are, are the folks at the town hall, are their lives less important than, than the police officers? Because I put a call in 30, 32 minutes ago now for service. The guy's right behind that glass. He's taking a couple pictures of me with his camera, but he hasn't come out. So I just didn't, I was just asking people, and I thank you for being so candid and being honest. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll blur out the logos on the shirt as well. Have a great day, sir. Um, okay, he works literally, oh, actually, and you know what? The, 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 the place where he works is literally right behind me. <laughs> so, so he works across the street from the police department, never sees them. Another honest citizen. Wow, this is... This is great. This is really interesting. Questionable. The, the citizens of Albany have questions. For the brave policy officers. We can hold interviews here all day. It's a great idea. So we now have three people we've interviewed. One is a police supporter. None ever see the police. Because they're locked away, being safe. Very, very safe of them. I mean, this is just doing better and better. I'm holding up interviews right in front of the people. Let's, uh, let's let dispatch know. I want to let dispatch know. Let dispatch know. It's pretty interesting. Hi, man. Hey, yeah, I'm just waiting out front. I, I did just want to thank the officer briefly for taking his time and, um, you know, being ap having absolute disdain for the community. Because while I've been waiting out here, I interviewed the first random four citizens that walked by me. And every single one of them are disgusted with the police and say they never actually see them. And one works directly across the street. So I did want to thank him for being so lazy because we were at least able to get. So I'm just going to keep conducting interviews right out here in the walkway until this guy decides to get his shit together. Do you know if his shit together will be sometime soon? I will go ahead and let the officer know. Oh, thank you so much. You've been great. Thank you. Bye -bye. You've been helpful. I've been AFA. <laughs> You've been helpful. I've been AFA. <laughs> but Anna, what's going on? That's how she got AFA today. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to look. Just examine. This, there's another lady coming down here. We'll talk about it. Welcome to the newest. Oh my God, there's a wild turkey crossing the road. It's about to get hit by a car. Look at it. That turkey does not have the assistance of a police officer. Where's the police officer when a wild turkey needs to cross the street? There's two more turkeys. <laughs> And they, they can't quite cross the street. What are, there's three turkeys, there's four turkeys. I see four. And they all need police assistance. They're trying to cross the street. They might be armed. These could be armed turkeys. I can't even take myself seriously right now. Oh my God. Like this shit that you see. Uh, the turkeys are gangbangers out here. Like, I don't know who, which, I don't know what set that turkey bang. Yeah, that's a fact. I want to ask, what do you see more of here? Wild turkeys on a main street or police officers? That's the next question. Great job, Banana. Great job. I want to ask the turkey. I want, I want to interview the turkey. I want to interview it. It's going to be the hottest hit news story I've ever done. I've got police officers fired, I've got city officials fired, and now I'm, now I'm covering a friggin' turkey crossing the road. My life is... There he is. I don't think he feels safe. I need to ask somebody about it, though. Ladies! Oh, they can't hear me. I need to ask somebody else what they've seen more of, wild turkeys or police officers. Still in front of him, being brave. I'm at the police department. I've not seen one police officer in an hour. 
I have seen turkeys. I've seen upset citizens. I've seen just about everything else. I've even seen an elephant fly. I really want to ask those ladies. So I feel like, oh, pocket enforcement. I'm gonna mess with somebody. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Shoo! Get out of here! Get lost! Get lost! Stop stealing money from people! Get out of here! People have been waiting at the police department for an hour for service from a police officer. They can't serve the community. You're out here stealing money. It says police department, you're pocket enforcement, you're a road pirate. Stop stealing money from people, get out of here. Stop stealing money. Go, shoo. 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 Don't touch the vehicle, you don't have a warrant. Don't even lean against it. Bye. Go ahead and scram. Does that make you feel good? How good do you feel right now? Scale of one to 10. You guys are so brave in Albany. So brave. Too brave, maybe it'll come faster. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. Shoo, tell them to scram. He's been coming for about 35 minutes. Good luck. He said to come into the station. Tough shit. I'm here now. Yes, I told him to come into the station. Your response? I've been waiting for 25 minutes. Do you like this job? Well, 10 8 technically. Wouldn't it be 10 8? Because that's what you are right about now, is 10 8. Is your body cam on? Let's turn that on. I didn't need to request that footage, okay? But stop giving out tickets now. All right? Stop stealing from good, hard working people and beat it. That's the brave pocket enforcement. Sorry? Yeah, she, she just ticketed you. I was trying to explain that to her, um, but she decided to give you the ticket anyways. I just we got here. I, I literally got here. I liter Ma'am, I was literally down the street working on a story, and I ran here, which is not hard for me. You saw me come in, then. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's, uh, and I asked her. Uh, it's Berkeley. No, it's Albany. Not it's Albany. Albany. It's Albany. I don't know. Berkeley, I would expect it. Albany. I haven't seen a police officer all day. We've been waiting for 35 minutes to speak to somebody. What, what's your story about? Oh, we're working on a story about Albany Police Department being the only public entity that's actually closed to the public. Oh, I gotta go. She's ticketing. She's tick. Yeah, yeah, ticketing somebody else.
Hey Karen, that lady was there less than two hours. Do you usually give tickets to people that have been there less than the a lot of time? She's very confused. Isn't it a two hour parking limit? That's 90 minutes. Okay, but she's been there less than that. She had a stopwatch on her phone. <laughs> she had a stopwatch on her phone. What's your answer to that? You don't give a shit, right? Thank you for being so brave. Thank you for protecting and serving. You guys are so brave. Oh, there's a cop. Thanks for nothing. Oh, here he is. Here's the brave officer. Are you here for us? Of course you're not. We've only been waiting 40 minutes. Look at that. That's interesting. A police lobby full of people in a vehicle that just drove by. That's fun. Look at that, folks, huh? The lady that just got a ticket. Been there less than 90 minutes. She's got her timer on. These guys are hiding. Brave, brave, brave cops. Your police department. Oh look, there's another cop right there. I wonder if he's here for us. Let's see if he's here to protect and serve. Are you here for us? Officer? Yo. Yo. Hey yo. Cop. PD. Hey, Def. No, you're not here for us? All right. Let's call again. Now they're going to ignore the call. Hi, uh, yeah, I've just had three Albany police officers drive by me. I've asked each one if they're here for me. They all said no, and then I saw a detective in the back room. So which one of them is here for me, since three that just drove by weren't and a detective's busy doing nothing? I believe there's an officer there to meet with you now. Oh, there, oh, he just arrived. Okay, great. Thanks. Hi, Sergeant. How are you? Good, good. How can I help you today? Got a couple questions. Number one, yes, sir. Hawkins, 90 minutes, okay? Young lady with two cars up there. She had a stopwatch on. I double checked on my other camera. She was at her parking space for less than 62 minutes. All live rolling. She gave a ticket. So, I mean, I've been waiting out here for 40 minutes for a police officer, yeah. and she's given out tickets to places that we've proved are not, I have not violated any ticketing space. So that's, that's number one. Okay. Number two, she doesn't have her body camera rolling. Is it normally policy if she's engaged with somebody to have her body camera rolling? It, she'll need to be uh, recording when she contacts people. Okay, you got yours rolling? I don't see the light going. What was the other question, sir? Well, first, can you turn your body camera on for my safety? What else would you like, sir? Turn your body camera on for my safety. Sir, it's on. Okay, I don't see the light flashing. My other question is, you know, I see that City Hall's open, yeah. and they're doing a lot of work every day, right? And they're, they're speaking to citizens. You guys are closed. The lady on the other end of the phone is very nice. She's answering what she can. She yeah. says that you guys are, are closed for the protocol, that are, and mandates that are in place. Those protocols are up 15 months ago, so my question is, are the city hall workers' lives less important, or do you need to stay hidden behind closed doors because that helps you prepare to be more brave or respond to crime? No, sir. Uh, what we do is we have those in place still, uh, but when there's somebody that needs help or assistance, you walk them inside to the lobby. Okay, so I've been here 45 minutes. Okay, I've had three sweet. police cars go by, oh. asked all of them if they were here for me. They weren't. Yeah, I, I, I want to come out and talk to you. 
Perfect. So you normally not walk everyone else inside the lobby, but you met me outside. Yes, sir. Should we go in the lobby? I'm perfectly fine here. Okay. All right. All right. Well, do um, you have any other questions? I did, yeah. So, you know, I, I asked three random people um, just that drove by me if they live in Albany. Answer is yes. Do they feel like the police... Yeah, go ahead. I know the sun's bright. You, you want to use my Ray-Bans, man? Okay. Are you sure? I got some in the car. I just should have brought one. All here. right. I'm happy to help, man. You're being very nice. Oh, thanks. Um, and I asked them if they think the police here are brave. One out of three did say yes. Uh -huh. And then the third question was I asked how often you see them. One laughed. That was the person that says he thinks you're brave. And she said she never sees you. The other gentleman works across the street. I'm not going to show the business he works at. And he never sees you. And he was surprised that they're opening your clothes. And the other person was baffled that she can't walk into the PD. And she said, well, someone will probably come right out. Well, I've been here for 45 minutes. Meanwhile, a detective in a white shirt, it looked like, that, that he was just in there looking at that mirror, like behind the window. So I was just wondering why... 45 minutes to serve citizens and everyone's hiding for a mandate that doesn't exist. Well, uh, the calls vary by situation, okay? So we will be going to calls if it's something, a high priority, we will be going there immediately. If it's a communication with the citizen that needs help for an information that you did not provide my dispatch, we will get to No, we you. told them. She didn't tell you about the records request either, right? No, sir. Yes, yeah, so well, then maybe your dispatch okay. just sucks well, out loud. To, I'll have to go back. Well, yeah. Well, they do a good job. They take many Apparently calls. No. Okay? Well, who was but the and, officer and, that said they and, came out here? And, let me just answer your questions. Though, yeah. Okay? Uh, in regards to why you may not see that many officers, uh, it's kind of a, a regional issue. Uh, there's uh, not enough officers. We're short-staffed. And recruitment and retention is really a really difficult situation to tackle right now in this area so we're trying our very best to have are you contra officers. costa county no this is alameda yeah alameda county all right so you know what i suggest you do because i've done some work with the uh contra costa county training division yeah. that trains police officers sheriff's deputies they also work you know the place i'm talking about right they have a specific branch that allocates officers to less desirable areas, areas that are less funded, because obviously if you're looking at the salary between San Francisco or right now with the removal of the police chief, Oakland, you're going to bypass Albany. <laughs> so we can we can help you with that if, if you're understaffed oh, yeah, and I mean, you can't we, help the community. We, we ask, you know, we, we, we're open to all suggestions to get anybody that we can get. We'll, at the same time... The city has high priority, ha, has high expectations of our officers, and our backgrounds uh, to investigate people's uh, backgrounds is a little bit high. So we need to make sure we just can't have anybody come in. We have to make sure they can pass the background as well. No, I understand. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this: um, How many calls have you been on today? You know, sir, I. I well, how long's your shift been? I should ask. Twelve hours. Twelve hours. How long into your shift are you? Uh, probably now into my fifth hour. But fifth hour. Yeah. Well, what else can, can we so do we'll fit on, on so five hours in almost halfway through how many calls have you been in you know sir right now I'm working on a other administrative tasks I'm working with my patrol team as best as I can right now yeah. so have you been on any calls yeah, I've been on calls today uh, yeah Staff sorry Torres, can you answer me this one uh, if you say that you're understaffed <laughs> why is it that your staff can peek out the window and take pictures of me and him and they have time to do that and they have time to take these dumb calls on here that could take up to five minutes. They can't have a cordial conversation with us for two minutes out of their day. And tell me how they're understaffed then. Uh, you know, in regards to you asking me questions about patrol officers outside, and you're, no, just you and, I, you and I are talking about people being seen outside. So right now we're, min yeah, we're at minimal staff from that point. Yeah, well, what it, well I think what she's oh, asking I, is the guy that was right in there doing nothing but sticking his finger up I his ass. What's he doing? I can't answer you. Of course. I asked for an officer. Yeah. I'm here though, so I'm, I'm yeah. here. No, you did. 45 minutes later and a few illegal... Po what can we do about those parking tickets? Uh, I got it on camera, so... What I can do is I can... Uh, I'll check in with a parking enforcement officer when I see her and ask her in regards to those. I'm sure you probably already reached, approached her. Yeah. And uh, we can talk to her and see what they have. Because what I'd like to do is I'd like to... Bless you. I'd like to FOIA request, or Freedom of Information Act request, the parking ticket. Uh, I'm going to match it against my video. And then if a citation... Like that citation isn't lifted because I got the contact information for that young lady. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a lounge chair. I'm going to park it right here. And all I'm going to do every day for the next 30 days on a channel with over 120,000 subscribers is continuously ask people how they like their police department. And they're probably going to give me the same answer, Torres. Let me, you want to take these to go? They're only 120 I'm good, bucks. I'm good. Uh, you, well, what other questions do you guys have? I, I, I think I, she's I, got I some just, questions. I just wanted to tell you that you are exceptionally trained. Trained very well at deflecting 
all of the questions that have been asked of you, mm. you've answered, but half-assedly. And I'm, I, I'm sick of it. I'm honestly sick of it. Mm. You've been cordial and you were trained to be that way. Thank you. But what about all those other officers that are taking pictures and sitting pretty behind a desk and they, they can't, they're too above the people to come out and have a conversation. A lot of these they work I, for us. I don't have any information of what you guys saw here. Of course you don't. Um, you know, from You're great that, at deflecting. But at the great same training. time, thank you, you know, so much. I'm, I'm here to help you guys. Yeah, okay. What about the turkeys that crossed the street without brave officer assistance? Those, those, those are those are some wild turkeys. We had four of them. Well, they could have been gangbangers, man. Take care, guys. I was not served and protected from the wild turkeys. I did see more of them than I saw of police officers, though. On the real, you were very nice, so I do appreciate your professionalism. But you guys got to get it together, man. the brave men and women and retards of the Albany Police Department. Banana got so aggravated with his deflecting that she said she was on set. What do you think about that? Like, I'm just pissed. Yeah. Just nothing but deflection, right? Yeah. I hate his half-assed comments. Like, they did nothing. And, and what did those questions of... The didn't way, answer a thing. Didn't answer they didn't, a yeah, thing. they didn't get us anywhere. So now we have to inundate them with records requests. Subscribe to Banana Rana. As soon as I heard the car door open, I, I immediately felt bad for this guy and I knew his ball shrunk. We'll catch you in the next one. And that's the reason I stopped you today.